Namaste everyone, this is Guru Dharam and in this class we will learn how to do proper pranayama, uh, Nadi Shodhan and Anulom Vilom. These two pranayama we will practice together. So let's begin. First, we will get the Vishnu Mudra or Mrigi Mudra. Ah, this is the hand mudra that you can do like this. Or if you have any problem that you cannot do the original mudra like hand mudra for pranayama, then you can do like this. So just simply because hand is not important. The important is the nostril. Remember, whenever we practice the pranayama or any yoga technique that bring us our self to inside our body and inside our mind to be unit unity uh, so breath is important not the hand so hand is fine this mudra or this mudra or any hand mudra is fine that's that's no worry worry about the nostril so we will practice three round of nadi shodhan detox your nadis and the three rounds of anulom vilom pranayam okay let's begin everyone you can follow the technique and try to understand the concept and the technique. So first, close the right nostril, inhale from the left. Close the left nostril, open right nostril, exhale from the right nostril. Inhale right. Exhale left. This is one round. One more time. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left. One more time. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale right, exhale left. Three round has done. So hand down, take a deep inhale and a long exhale. Very amazing, very beautiful. Feel the observe, observe yourself, feel the how you are feeling right now. Try to understand your breath, your understand your feeling. It will be very awesome, very amazing and give you more peace. Okay, so this is the technique that we have done. Nadi Shodhan Pranayam. Mm. So if you can feel nothing in three rounds, so I recommend you do it five minutes. So continue from the left inhale, right exhale, right inhale, left exhale. So this is one round. So you can keep continue. When you start, you start from the left nostril and when you stop, you stop from the left nostril. It means after breathe out from the left nostril, then breathe in from the both nostrils. This is, we can do minimum three round, maximum five minutes, 10 minutes, 30 minutes. That's fine. That's no worry. Just only one principle. Listen to your body. If you feel uncomfortable, if you feel any time disturbing your breath, you cannot take breath properly you feel uncomfortable so you after breathe out from the left nostril hand down and deep inhale long exhale both nostril this is nadi shodhan pranayam yay i think everyone remember okay let's begin the second pranayama the second pranayama we call anu lom vilom pranayam ah, the same technique as nadi shodhan but here we will have retention we will try to hold the breath inside our body mm. so begin from the left nostril inhale left close the both nostril hold the breath chin lock hold the breath inside your chest inside your stomach or inside your body maybe five take ten seconds that's fine okay exhale from the right nostril exhale slowly inhale right nostril again hold the breath inside your body abhyantar kumbak internal retention exhale 
exhale from the left nostril. This is one round. Now second round begin. Inhale left nostril. Inhale slowly. Don't force yourself at all. Hold the breath inside your body. Exhale from the right nostril. Inhale from the right nostril. Hold the breath inside your body. Exhale from the left nostril. Third round we begin. Inhale from the left nostril. Hold the breath, internal kumbhaka. Exhale from the right nostril. Inhale from the right nostril. Hold the breath inside your body. Exhale from the left nostril. Hand down. Inhale both nostrils. Exhale both nostrils. So amazing. And if you will practice this technique like this, only three to five days you can feel the difference in your body. You can improve the more oxygen. You can generate the more oxygen. You can create more blood circulation system. It can be healthy. Uh, and the most important benefit of the Nadi Shodhan and Anulom Vilom Pranayama they're both brain, both sides of the brain. Left and the right hemisphere start to activate. And when it's activate, our nervous system, nadis, channels, every blood circulation, respiratory system, deoxygenating system, everything is improve our health. That is very important and it gives you a lot of health benefit. Remember one formula. This is the I explain you only right now. Half knowledge is dangerous. If you love yoga, if you love foundation, if you love something, you must learn from the foundation. That's why I'm here to help you, to give you my 17 year experience right now. Teaching yoga, 17 years experience. But I'm not teaching yoga. I am sharing yoga with everyone. So half knowledge is dangerous. And feel free to let me know by comment how you like this video. Feel free to share with your friends. If some people are doing wrong pranayama, please feel free to share this video because I'm not saying some pranayama is wrong or right. Actually, if you have a proper knowledge, you will do the correct. If you do the correct, then you will have more benefit. And if you have more benefit, you will have health. Nothing is good or bad for me. It's good for or the bad for the people who is doing the right and the wrong technique. So this technique I'm sharing you, this is a traditional from the university that I learned my master degree in yoga science. And also I have my, my master, he is a great yogi right now in India. He is always doing yoga for his lifestyle. So I'm just sharing his experience, his knowledge to you guys. So please feel free to thumbs up in this video and do not forget to subscribe and check out this video if you like it so you can see it more information over there namaste and see you in the next video next class thank you